This week's video is a lipstick face off. I am going to be trying Kylie Jenner lipstick and Kim Kardashian lipstick and then we're going to find out which one of these sisters carries the better lipstick. So if you want to find out the answer, check out the video. channel it's Kimberly and today's video is going to be all about lipstick like I said I'm gonna be trying these two different lipsticks from the Kardashian Jenner sisters and we are going to see which one is the better one I thought it's something different you know something a little bit you know out of the norm but I still think it's gonna be a fabulous video so stay tuned and if you're new to my channel make sure you subscribe my name is Kim I do videos on beauty fashion and a little bit of fitness, very little fitness lately, you know, with COVID and everything, but um, hopefully it'll get better. But having said that, let's get right into the video. Okay guys, since Kylie shade is a lot lighter than the Kim shade, I'm gonna try this one first. I'm not wearing anything on my lips right now, so I'm gonna just get rid of the color that's on my lip because it's a little pink. Just so the color of the lipstick really comes out well. So this is what I always do. And especially when it's like a nude color, you want to make sure that you do that. Because, you know, nudes really blend with your own lip color. And if that's, you know, very colorful, it's not going to look good. After I do that, I always powder it a little bit. We're just going to go with it. I'm gonna overdraw my lip a little bit just to kind of like. I never really do that a lot, but in this case, I'll just, you know. Can I say that I like that you don't have to like constantly go over the same uh, area? It really deposits the color, so that's a good thing. I also have to say that I like that her lipsticks come with lip liner so you don't have to buy it separately you know I think it was about $23 I'm not sure it was $29 and then the Kim lip liner was $12 and the lipstick was $18 so about 30 bucks each Now that I like my lips, I'm kind of going to color them in a little bit with this lip pencil. Okay, so this is just the Kylie Posey K lip pencil that I'm wearing. Feels very light, like I'm not wearing anything and I think it looks okay. But now let's add the lipstick to it to see full effect and this is a matte lipstick I am NOT a fan of mattes actually I'm more a fan of lip glosses than anything and let's see what this does oh it smells really good it smells kind of candy like now the thing about matte colors especially the liquid ones is that you kind of have to like put it on quick because if it dries and then you go over it it's all bad but this one seems like it's not drying too fast which is good so I'm quickly gonna make like a little okay um the color is okay I'm not crazy about it but uh it's doable it's doable so this is posy cake and I'll let you guys know exactly what I think after I try the other one too, the Kim one, and then uh, we'll take it from there. So this is Posey K. So that was the Kylie lipstick. And now I'm going to try the Kim lipstick. I'm going to try to take this off. I'm going to take this off. I'll be right back. So guys, I finally managed to take it off and ruin my entire makeup. So I'm just kind of fixing it real quick. So 
So now let's move on to Kim. Well, for one, I have to say I like her name for obvious reasons. Let's see. So this is the new three pencil and I like that it's a new color too. So uh, kind of looks similar to Kylie's in that it's a self-sharpening pencil, I believe, but we'll see. I'm just going to apply it. And this is a darker shade and it was really hard to kind of get stuff, but it's really hard to kind of overdraw your lip when it's a dark color like this, but I'm going to try a little. Okay, so right now I'm just wearing the pencil and I kind of had to like make it a little pointier because I slipped a little bit so I had to correct it and now this is what that looks like. Now I'm going to add the lipstick and I have to say I love the packaging. I love it. I think it's really, really pretty. It's just like a see-through translucent packaging and I think it's great. Anyway, so... This is the color. It's darker and I'm going to apply it. Here we go. Oh, actually it's a creme lipstick. So it's not a matte. It's more of a creamy consistency, which I tend to like better usually. The color payoff is on point. I don't have to keep going over it. It's just there. Let me see if I need to conceal a little bit because with darker colors, you always want to make sure that the outline is perfect. And this is, I have to say that I think that these darker colors usually only go really well if you, you know, your makeup is fully done. Like, I don't think it will look that good if you're, I don't know, I, I like it when everything is done. So, here it is. My thoughts about the lipsticks, I have to say I like this one much, much better. The Kim uh, lipstick, it's just, number one, I like the shade, I like the color, I like the consistency, which is super important. Um, this is not a matte shade though, so it's kind of not fair, but you know, it is a creamy shade, so it doesn't dry on your lips as much as a matte shade, but um, the Kylie one, I have to say, getting it off my lips was like, it was like cement. I don't know, I, I had to like scrub, 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 so if you're looking for a lipstick that lasts all day or all month, <laughs> this is the one for you absolutely um i'm not really a fan of matte lipstick so maybe that's why you know i'm kind of more prone to what's the kim one i also like the fact that the lipstick uh the kim's lipstick was really it really the color payoff was really good like you didn't have to like go over your lips 10 million times and it just feels really good on your lips like i could wear this all day and be fine unlike the kylie one with the kylie one i would be worried that there's like cracks in it and because it starts drying too much and your lips start getting dry i'm just not a fan of matte lipsticks at all although there were some brands that i've tried in the past that were matte but they weren't as drying so they were pretty good this one i have to say i think the lip pencil was a lot better than the actual lip thick so would i buy this again mm, to be fair you know maybe just to try a different color to see if maybe it would be a little different although i don't see how that would be you know possible kim one i have to say was very pleasant it was very easy to apply the color payoff was there like i said and uh yeah i'm not going to return that one let's just put it that way that should tell you enough having said that i should say you know this video was absolutely not sponsored and everything 
these are my own opinions and let me know which one of these two you like best you know because maybe you're like what are you talking about kim the kylie one looks way better on you you know maybe it's just the color but i'm also talking about the way it feels on your lips like do i think i could wear the kylie one all day and be fine no i think after an hour i would kind of like you know want to get rid of it but the kim one i could wear this and just be fine so uh yeah as for the pricing i think the kylie lip kit it's a good deal because you get a pencil and a lipstick both together in the packaging the kim equals out to be kind of the same price as the kylie one and i have to say if i had to pick another lipstick again i would definitely go with kim's and yeah i actually kind of like the consistency and everything so i'm holding on to this one i might try some other colors of hers because this was really a good experience for her brand i'd say you know i really like it having said that this is the end of my video i hope you liked it sound off in the comments below let me know which uh color you like the best have you tried any of these brands let me know sound off below and i will see you guys again next week in my next video Oh, <laughs>